everybody. I don't know my partner in crime right now. She's outside. Way too cool for me today. Um, but I really wanted to show you this cool project. Um, it's it's something I found online it's based on STEM, which is science, technology, math, engineering, um, engineering, math. But what the, the cool thing is, is it also teaches you about colors and the color wheel, which I really like to enforce in my class so that you guys can understand how the colors mix together. So what I'm gonna do, you may have done this before. Um, I'm gonna put some water in these little bowls and then I'm gonna use, I actually have liquid concentrated watercolors, but you can also drop watercolor in um, by, by waking up your colors in a palette and just dropping them in. Or you can also use um, food coloring to color your, your bowls. So I'm gonna put, I have three different bowls and I have three different colors. So I'm gonna put water and then I'm gonna drop some of the watercolors into the bowls to color them. Now what is going to happen is I'm gonna take these pieces of paper towel and I'm gonna either, you can fold it up, you can kinda twist it up and we're gonna place them inside the bowls like this so they connect to each other. And after a while, what you'll start to see is the colors bleeding into each other like a little rainbow pattern. And you're gonna see how the colors mix together as they go along. Ready? So my bowls are filled with color and I'm going to take my paper towel and bend it a little bit and stick it in and watch the magic happen. Now something else that's really cool that you could do is once the paper towels have done their magic, um, you can take them out you can actually let them dry and make art out of them. They're really cool. So they're like a tie-dye. So I have blue, yellow, and red. So after a while, you'll start to see the colors, blue and yellow, make green. You can start to see the green right here. Then we have the red and the yellow, which after a while will become orange. And I could have done these any which way. We could have made purple by combining the blue and the red together. You could do this with several bowls. You could make a whole circle of bowls and see what happens. It's really all about the experience and uh, experimenting um, with the colors and seeing what will happen with them. So I'm gonna let these do their thing. I'm gonna keep letting the colors go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the paper towels out and I'm gonna gently open them up and let them dry. And so I'll show you the results once they're completely dry. Okay, so it's been about an hour and my paper towels are just about dry. So this is how they came out. Pretty cool. I actually ended up with four because I let my originals dry on another piece of paper, another piece of paper towel. Oh, one of them doubled, I have five. They're all really pretty, they're really cool. Yeah. You can hear my dogs growling in the background. <laughs> and a tail, oh, there's a tail going by. So there's lots of things you could do with this. You could cut it and make a collage out of it. Um, you could even cut it and like weave it together. Mm -hmm.